Hello YouTubers and welcome to Geeky Bricks and yes it is time for another Lego haul video. Okay so what have we actually got today then so as we zoom out you can see we have got quite a lot to get opened up and share what we've been buying for the last couple of weeks. Uh, apologies it has been a few weeks since I've done my last Lego haul video but um, I am back. Um, as can obviously be seen because you're watching this video. So we've got a lot up there, mainly from Amazon and Lego Shop at home. I'm sure there's going to be some May the 4th be with you um, deals in there from Lego uh, Shop at home, Star Wars uh, related, quite clearly. May the 4th be with you. But anyway, less of me waffling on. Let's get this all off the table, get them up one by one, and share with you what is inside. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start with one of the boxes from Lego Shop at Home. So let's get into this now. There is the invoice. And as I open it up, I get to see for the first time this year's promotional poly bag from May the 4th be with you. It's the exclusive for 2016 Lego Star Wars. And it is the first order Stormtrooper. So awesome. Um, I do love my exclusive poly bags, although I have to say I think they could have come up with something far better than a uh, redesigned um, Stormtrooper. But anyway, it's a freebie and it's an exclusive. Um, so in here we also have Slave One um, from Lego Star Wars, a UCS set, Ultimate Collector's Edition, um, 750 six zero so slave one and the final thing in here again part of the may the fourth be with you promotion it is a poster and we can see here star wars the force awakens so let's get this opened up okay there you get to see that poster there and it is a two-sided poster so there we have the actual so this is pretty awesome actually there is the actual official lego star wars force awakens um merchandise poster marketing whatever we want to call it and then on the other side the lego versions that is actually really awesome pretty cool um so yeah we have that poster in there so that's what's in the first box let's get the next one up now okay next box again lego shop at home so invoice again okay so in this one we've got <gasps> bubbles we have got bubbles. Okay, so in this one, this was obviously before, just before the May the Four promotion. So this is when they had uh, the Batman Classic TV series of Mr. Freeze minifigure. And that is a cool minifigure. This that's going to be going into my Brickling store. I did have a couple in there. They've already sold, um, so I'll be restocking with at least one. I think I'm going to have maybe another one in here, um, but we'll see in a minute. So Mr. Freeze, we have also got. Two, I think there's only two in there. Um, series 15 collectible minifigures that was to get me over the threshold and I have to pay postage. Um, and we've got oh, yay! For my regular viewers, it's another Lego Pirates chess set. Um, my phone is ringing, so just bear with me. Right, apologies about that, everyone. I am back, but um, although it's Seems like this is straight away. It's actually been a bit of a gap. I had to leave my house and go and pick my youngest son up who had fallen over and uh, hurt his lip. Had a bit of an accident. So uh, anyway, so I've got to try and recap now and carry on where I was. So yeah, Lego Pirate set. Bought loads of these. Those who watched my Lego haul videos would have uh, known that. Um, but anyway, this is to add towards a stack of nine I've got already. Clearly makes it number 10, which will be parted out to go with the other 10 I've already parted out. So. That's 20 of these in total. I would have parted out already. Sold a few of the minifigures. Might have sold out of some of the rarer ones, but um, yeah, if you want any of that, then uh, take a look at my Bricklink store when I manage to get them parted out. Okay, next up, another one from Lego Shop at Home, as you can see. Here, let's get this one open up. Okay, we have bubbles. More bubbles. And we have got another. Da -da -da -da. Exclusive made of be with you poly bags that kind of gives away with you to you the theme that's going to be in here, and it is uh, flip it over another 
Slave one! Yes, I got two slave ones! They are for future investments and going to my Bricklink store. Obviously we will not sell for some considerable time, but I am fine with that as a long-term investor. We've also got another one of the exclusive um, posters um, as well, so um, awesome there too. So let's get the next box up. Okay, another one from our Lego shop at home. Invoice out of the way. What have we got in this one? Okay, it's not Star Wars, so we have the Mr. Freeze polybag in this one. Again, we'll be going into my Brick Link store. And we have got 10248 Ferrari F40. Um, again, this is actually from my Bricklink store for a future investment. I've already got one of these for myself, my personal collection. I have built it and I think I might have reviewed it. Um, have a look down in the history of my videos. I'm pretty certain I did a review on that. I think it's an awesome set. Love it. Um, great replica of a Ferrari F40. So, get us down. Next one up and we will see what we've got. Okay, so last of the large boxes from the Lego shop at home. I think I've got another small one, yeah, you can see over there. Put that to one side. Ah, okay, have we got any promotions? Yes, another Mr. Freeze poly bag. So again, gives away that it's not Star Wars related, it's bubbles. We've got a box of bubbles. And we've got one that I quite fancy getting, so this is for my personal collection. It is a Lego Technic set. 42041, can't remember the exact name, but obviously it's a truck, um, which you can see there. So pretty cool Lego Technic set, like I said, for my personal collection. I'll get that built sometime in the future, but it won't be for a while. So we will get, I think, the smaller Lego Shop at Home box up next. Okay, like I said, the smaller Lego Shop at Home box, and this is the last one from Lego Shop at Home. Get the invoice out of the way. Right away in there we see another Mr. Freeze poly bag, so again another one for the Brickling store. We have got one, two, three, four, five <coughs> series 15 minifigures. And again, that would have been made to make up for the postage. What have we got? Ah, right, okay. Speed Champions 75875, uh, Ford F-150 Raptor and Ford Model A Hot Rod. Um, so this is for my personal collection. I collect all of these. I think that's the last one I had to get. So I think I'm pretty sure I've got all the Speed Champions sets now. Like I said, that is for my personal collection. So up next, we're going to get through loads of Amazon boxes. Okay, first box from the Lego shop at home, and it's a larger box. So let's get into this, see what we got. Okay, so we have got what is a pretty awesome set. It is the Millennium Falcon. Lego Star Wars Millennium Falcon set 75105. Awesome set. So again, this um, will more than likely be for my Brickling store. Again, for a future investment, everyone. So that's the first box. Let's get the next one up. Okay, so the next box from Amazon, exactly the same size box. Could it be? Would it be? What do we think? Would he get two? Would Geeky Bricks buy two? And the answer is... Yes! We have another Millennium Falcon. So these were on a bit of a deal when I got them over at Amazon. So I picked up two of them um, at the time. So like I said, in the Brickling store future investment, don't expect them to sell for a while because they're still readily available. Let's get the next one up. Right, next Amazon box. Well, we open it up. And what have we got inside? I can't remember what I bought. Yeah, right, yeah, okay. It is 60050. The uh, train station, this is to be parted out from a Brickling store. I've got four of these waiting to be parted out. Clearly makes it five. I like to get minimum of five before I part out, so that will now be parted out. 
into my Brickling store. I think I've previously parted out that set before as well. So, next box, well, let's get it up here. Next one from Amazon. A little bit crushed. But what is inside? Okay, now it's down. What's the packaging? Right, okay, we have got the buildable Lego Star Wars figures, Darth Vader. 75111. Um, I think these sets are awesome. These are for my Brickling store. I've got all these in my own personal collection. I've made that one. Um, made most of them. I have made all of the current series. Um, but I've definitely made that one. And we have got a total of three of the Darth Vaders. Okay, and the next box from Amazon. Amazon shop at home. What? Have I been saying that? From Amazon. Clearly it's shop at home because that's what Amazon are. But anyway, from Amazon. Woo! More packaging. What have we got on this one? What is this set then? Have we got a mixture in here? No, we haven't. Okay, we have got 75100, the first order snow speeder. Uh, looks like we've got one. Two, three. Yeah, we've got a total of three. I'm assuming that was limited to three. Um, now we're either going to keep those three and get some more to part out, or I'll put them in as whole sets into my Brittling store. Either way, they will be ending up in my Brittling store. And the next one from Amazon. We've actually got Amazon Prime tape on this one. Woo! Poster's falling down. a bit harder to cut that prime tape. Okay, let's move that poster. And let's take a peek at it. Oh yay, Amazon, you're doing bubbles! Awesome. So in this one we have got 75082, the TIE Advanced Prototype from Lego Star Wars. And we have got one, two. So we have two of those sets and they will be the same as the other one, so my Brickling store, probably whole sets, um, but possibly parted out, but um, I suspect whole sets of us, I have only managed to get two. And the next one from Amazon. Let's get it open up and let's see what's inside. As we get it open. Oh, no poster's falling down. Okay, so we appear to have more buildable figures. 75110 Luke Skywalker. Again, Prickling Store, we've only got a few of these in there. We've got one, two, three. something else in here but I suspect that's not Lego let's just put that to one side good job I checked then um, five Luke Skywalkers and something else which looks like it's not Lego so let's get the next box up okay and the next one from Amazon and indeed that item in the other box was a torch that I ordered um, so not Lego related so no need to share um, but yeah, there's a torch in there. Just uh, shall I show you? It's in there. There's a torch in there. But I will get that out in a while and uh, take a look at my new torch. Um, oh, more buildable mini uh, mini figures. Buildable figures. Uh, General Grievous, awesome one. This is obviously um, one of the best ones. Well, the best in my opinion. This is my favourite by far. Awesome buildable mini figure. Uh, miss, stop saying mini figure. Buildable figure. If you haven't got these and you're on to try them out, get that one. That is cool. General Grievous 75112. Uh, one, two, three. So we have got three General Grievous, and again, they are to go into my Bricklink store. Okay, and we're getting closer to the end. Um, Amazon. Okay, then we move it up. Oh, there's a bit more of a mixture in here. What have we got here then? Alright, let's get that out of the way because we've got 
Lego Friends for 1116. Don't know what the name of the set is. Some. Don't know what that is. <laughs> but anyway, um, and there you go. Lego Friends. We have got one, two, three, four, and five of those. 100% to be parted out for my Brickling store. We have also got Scooby Dooby Doo! Yes, we have got Scooby 75902, the mystery machine. And we have got one, two, three. Three mystery machines. So they are for future investments for my Brick Link store. Okay, so last of the bigger size boxes or medium size boxes from Amazon. Another one with a prime tape on it. Heavier boxes, well, yeah, that's why. Right, okay, so in this one we have got from Lego Ideas, it is the Doctor Who set uh, 21304. Very awesome Lego Ideas set there that was put into production. We have one, two, and three. And I have to say, as Lego goes, it's a heavy set. Um, but normally you get a very good book um, instruction manual which tells you um, about whatever the product is. So in this case, uh, Doctor Who, I'm sure it would tell you something about the series and Doctor Who itself and TARDIS, etc. Et 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 Daleks, who knows what history of the Doctors may be. Um, I haven't opened one of those myself yet. Um, I've got one in my personal collection but I haven't actually opened it or made it yet. So let's get what we've got next up. Okay, so next up we've got two smaller packages. Now this one I opened by mistake, thinking it wasn't Lego, but when I opened it up, it was Lego, as you can see. Um, it is the DC Comics Superheroes Character Encyclopedia. Um, as we can see there with the exclusive minifigure. I think I had this in my last Lego haul video as well, so another one there, that one would probably be for my personal collection. I've got another one here which hasn't been opened. I'm pretty certain this is another Lego one, but we will find out. And indeed it is. This is one that I ordered a long time ago when this was first announced. So this has been on pre-order for months and months and months and months. Now I finally get to see it. And it is the uh, Lego Star Wars uh, Chronicles of the Force. Discover the story of the Lego Star Wars Galaxy. But the main reason I get these is what's up there which is the exclusive minifigures. Um, good books as well, don't get me wrong. You know, that'll be some very good content in these by DK Publishing. And um, we'll give you some of the history um, in there. But yeah, that exclusive minifigure is the main reason for me. So that's going to be for my own personal collection. We've got one more box left, which I'm going to get up now. Okay, so this is the final box and the one I've been looking forward to for so long. So long. And I am pleased it's finally here and I get to open it and you can see where it's from. Lego! So let's get it open. And we break the seal. And what have we got inside? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. We have got another box. <laughs> but if I bring this over to you that might give it away what's written on there. Do not put on shelf before the before May the 1st, 2016. So, what is in here? Um, and I'm gonna open one of them in a minute just to share it with you, but just to show you, I've got one, two, three, and four. So, empty box then. So I've got four of what is in here, so let's open one of them up. I'm sure you all know by now. They're all the same, by the way. You might be able to see down here somewhere. Um, but yeah, they're all the same. I'll open this up as carefully as I can. There we go. Get one of these out, because I've really been excited about this, I have to say. And it is, ta-da! The collectible minifigures, the Disney series. Awesome, so this is one thing that's different 
there is 18 to collect. Um, for those who know the collectible minifigures, there's normally only 16, which gives me a bit of a problem um, because I collect all these series. Um, and what I put them in, I just, in fact, let's get one up here. I have a, sorry, I'm just going to point now. I have a massive display over here with all of them. And I'm just going to get one. Let's take it off the top. And I display them in these official Lego display cases, which you can see there. So that's the Monster series. Um, we can see then, see all of them in there. And there are 16. So these cases are purpose built for 16 minifigures. And what have Lego done? They've released 18. <laughs> so. Down here, I've got more cases. I bet that's a nice view for everyone. Apologies about that. I've got more storage cases, but these are the newer cases, these ones. So I'm probably going to squeeze two in one of those slots. Um, but yeah, I've got some of the older ones if they fit in there better. But anyway, that's enough of me waffling on about that. Um, so yeah, there's four lots of the Disney minifigures to get opened up. Um, I keep two sets for myself, one on display and one for, I just collect it, and all the rest of them will be going into my Brickling store once I get more sorted out. So that's it for this Lego haul. Let me get that sorted out and I'll be right back. Okay, and there we go. That is it for this week's Lego haul video. And as you can see, I did decide to open down here all the Disney minifigures, certainly out there, boxes are new, so you can see there, indeed, there are one, two, three, four of those. Awesome, I can't wait to get those um, uh, unpacked and my personal ones put on to, um, uh, or on display, rather, as long as I can fit them in the container, like I just said, in the display case, rather. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy this LEGO haul video. Sorry, it's uh, been a bit of a gap since my last one, but if you did, give it that big thumbs up. You never know, it might encourage me to do more. Um, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I am going to have some exciting news coming up and I will probably do a vlog to explain what's going to be happening in the future. Um, so I'm just asking you to bear with me because there will be more videos coming. Um, certainly after I've made that announcement, you understand what my plans are as we move forward. Um, any comments, questions, feedback, leave down in the comments section. And that just leaves me to say thank you all very much and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers, bye for now everyone, bye.